today marks the 500th day of captivity for 219 uh, Nigerian schoolgirls who were kidnapped. So on the 9th of April 14th, into the early hours of April 15th, the girls were at the school, they were taking exams, and the Boko Haram insurgents came and they kidnapped them and they took them away. Originally the number was 276, and uh, 57 of them were able to escape on their own accord, but 219 remained missing, now 500 days in captivity. We're going to count to 219 because it's an unfathomable number. If 219 worlds, and that is what Judaism believes every life is, if 219 possibilities to change lives, to heal people, to save each other, if those went missing, it is our job to bring them back. We decided, we meaning a group of interfaith women, got together and said we must commemorate day 500 because it's unconscionable that so much time has passed and these girls are still missing. We will be here for as long as it takes until every single Chiba girl is brought back home safe and alive. And I stand with my sisters right now and scream, bring back our girls. We're appealing to the Nigerian consulate to help us to bring back these girls, to take the power that they have and spread it internationally. Everyone needs to know what's happening to these girls. These girls are valuable. There's someone's daughter, there's someone's sister, they're our sisters. Even though we've never seen them, we don't know who they are, they're our sisters because it could happen to each and every one of us. So we know that they're being used as sexual slaves. We know that they're being used as domestic slaves. And the longer the girls stay with them and they start to have children, it's actually awful to imagine that these girls are probably giving birth to the next generation of terrorists. Now, can you imagine that? It is our sacred mandate to be able to say we've got to bring these girls back home safe and alive.